Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here. I hope you're happy, healthy and well. There's no book review today, but today I'm going to take you with me into Melbourne. Now, what I'm going to do there is a little bit different. I will go to a bookstore and I'll take you to the bookstore with me. But the reason I'm going into Melbourne is that I'm a member of Writers Victoria. I just joined this year and every month, the first Friday of every month, they have a live write session where you can go in and use the library there while someone gives you writing prompts and you write for 25 minutes. So the live write sessions are there to encourage people to take some time and write. But I have got in my hands a great little flyer here on the city of literature that is Melbourne. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where we're going to go today, what bookstore we're going to go to. At another session, another video, I will do uh, a video of the library at Writers Victoria. I think that warrants a video for itself. But for now, I'm going to show you this handout and where we're going to go today. So this is a walking map of Melbourne, the city of literature. And all these little dots are bookstores or libraries. And you could see we have a whole heap of them everywhere. Now today, we're just going to the one place. We're going to Collins Street to the Readings Bookstore. Readings is a large conglomerate, I guess you got a large bookstore, a large brand of books. I don't know whether they are international, you may have heard of them, and they're here on Collins Street. Collins Street, by the way, just above there is, is another uh, bookstore, but this is an old bookstore, 27, used to be the site of Coles Book Arcade. I so wish this arcade is still around it wasn't basically it's been knocked out because this used to be the largest bookstore in the world apparently at one stage with millions of books and even a menagerie of animals that used to be in there we're talking in the late 1800s early 1900s this book store was the place to be nowadays there's nothing there except for a sign or two but luckily it is above Melbourne's largest bookstore here, which is Dimmix. So let's go and see what we can find there. Mm -hmm. 